It's another alleged gameplay video. Welcome back guys. Welcome back to the game room. I'm looking forward to this one. This is uh, this is an all-time favourite of mine. And this is my rather clean copy. Very proud of this copy. I picked it up a few years ago. Unfortunately, it's not my original. My original was pretty much uh, falling apart. By the end of it, we we played it so much back in the day. Now let's crack on with this and have a look at it. I'm looking forward to this video. Not quite sure why I've not put this video up on the channel before. But it's been a few years since I've booted this cartridge up. Uh, it's Pilot Wings. It's, it's the PAL version. Uh, they're the only versions I... I had back in the day so I realized some uh, some imports uh, have a, a uh, may perform better they may even be cheaper but uh, that's not what it's about for me I'm afraid I'm all about PAL so let's crack on with this um, this game was totally to me totally original I've uh, never seen anything like it before. And if you've been subscribed to me for a few years, then you'll know that uh, I, I kind of gravitate, if you like, towards original concepts in games, original ideas. You know, I've been around the block a few times gaming-wise. Uh, you know, yet another platformer, yet another shooter. It... It, it is what it is, but something like this came along. And as far as I'm aware, it's never really been done before. If it has, then I'm not aware of it. So we're going to go straight, straight into the license feature here. Just follow the guide. Uh, I think I'm losing power. No, how do I power up? Oh my god, great start. Yeah. Okay, landing failure. Great use of mode 7. Fantastic use of mode 7. Yeah, you're damn right. It may not be easy. We'll retry that. But this time I think we shall uh, refer to the, the control layout. Light plane. Going back to the snares controller is unusual. All right, okay, speed up, speed down. That's what I was doing wrong. Okay, here we go again. We'll do this, guys. We've got this. We've got this. Uh, so I don't know about you. What was your least favourite? Um, what should we say? Challenge on this particular license uh i liked the plane although you wouldn't believe so looking at this i loved the jetpack i think the worst the worst one of all was the skydiving oh, i was pretty terrible at skydiving i really was come on ah oh, we've got this guys there you go what a soft landing. Hasn't even disturbed your gin and tonic. We're okay. Landing okay, is that all? So I've got 50, 50, 20, 20. Ah, I only got nine. Well, I've got nine out of 10 points, for God's sake. Come on. Oh no, skydiving. All, all I can remember about this, a friend of mine used to be able to wipe the floor with me with skydiving. It was always the speed that let me down. I couldn't build enough speed up. I mean, even now, looking back at this, the Mode 7, you, you, you still get that, that kind of, that notion of height. And then they introduce the wind effects. And, and playing this for the last the last half hour or so um i think i'd completely forgotten 
how good the the sound was from the 16-bit generation you know both both Mega Drive and, and the SNES uh, quite amazing what they could uh, what they could achieve okay so we've missed one of the rings because as soon as you try to lean forward and speed up you begin to take on quite a severe angle and I, I could never do it I could never do it uh, okay we've got to get in there guys I have actually fluked this once before years ago and we were playing like a major session me and a friend of ours uh, we both consumed may way too much alcohol and I landed on that platform that moving platform I'd pretty much chucked the controller on the floor because I'd lost and uh, I just fluked it and landed on that platform oh this is looking good I'll take that I'll take that first attempt in many years I bet we didn't get very good for speed we got 10 out of 10 for speed that's, uh, that's pretty impressive. I know we missed that ring. There is a another game, uh, kind of an instructional based game on the Dreamcast. You're in like a, a jet fighter or a jet plane. Oh God, I can't remember the name of it. I can't remember. Uh, there's my code. So I take it this is you load your progress with a code. If you do... I'm going to use that code on the Super Console X and we'll see if it works. The only difference is going to be a PAL version to an NTSC version. So it'll be interesting to see if it works. But yeah, I can't think of, for the life of me, I can't think of that Dreamcast game. You had to do various... Uh, go through various lessons it was really hard but a really good game i've got it downstairs downstairs i've got it in the game room i should say come on yeah i loved i could get really i used to have to get really really good times with the jetpack because you've got your kind of main booster You've got your, your fast and your slow one, really. Uh, I have don't believe I've got pilot wings. On the, oh, I, do, I must have it on the 64. I must have it. And my knowledge of the franchise after that is non-existent. So my understanding is it never made... Uh, did it make an impression or did it make an appearance on the GameCube and the Wii? I was under the impression that as a franchise, Nintendo had given up on it. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Um, but yeah, I played a lot of the N64 version. Not as much as this. Not as much as this. It wasn't as groundbreaking for me. And again... I could, I'd rather play this with its kind of lower resolution, more pixelated. Uh, I can tolerate that as opposed to the washed out textures of the N64. Even back then, uh, it used to be quite noticeable for me. Uh, but in saying that, I put quite a bit of time in, quite a bit of time in onto the... Uh, on the N64 version that we're just clipping the ends of these rings. I remember this now. You've got to take the shortest route possible and you can choose either runway. I don't think you get any points for going further over to the second runway. Brilliant game, absolutely brilliant. And I'm playing this thinking I want to go through the whole game again. That says something. Again, nice, nice, nice. We got this. I'm still racking my brain thinking of uh, thinking of that Dreamcast title. I might go and have a look in a second and I'll insert a pic 
into this video because I do have I do have it on Dreamcast and it is a tough game. Ah, oh, skydiving. Sorry, this is a long video. We'll take it up to skydiving. Uh, is this going to be more complicated? I'm sure it is. This will be my downfall, folks. Yeah, okay. You've got to land on that target. Oh, I'm already worried about it. Plenty of potential to get wet here. There really is. Here we go. It was a great moment in gaming, the 16-bit mm -hmm. era. And I think uh, what made that was the close, the extremely close rivalry between Nintendo and Sega. You know, it's often the, um, you know, the fuel that kind of drives innovation and progress. Come on. Okay, it's so... Oh, I don't know how to do this. I think we should approach. So we approach across that bridge. Just to be safe. But I don't think I'm low enough. I'm going to cock this right up. Come on. Don't do it. No, I've missed the opportunity. I should have gone out further. And then come back. I might do it though. Maybe pass. Come on. Another unusual game. Flight game. Give it a go. It's Stunt Copter. We're going to do it. No. <laughs> oh, God. I wonder, if, will I get scored for that? No, <laughs> even though technically my feet touched down and like my excuse is the parachute pulled me off the platform. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, sorry it was so long. Take care of yourselves. Great game, that. Bye-bye.